Hello team and welcome to today's video for Excel, where I'll be sharing with you three different methods to compare rows in separate columns to determine whether or not you have a match. Skip to the timestamps in the description if you'd like to see a certain method, but we'll get started with how to determine whether or not you have a match in an individual row. We'll then look at how to determine whether or not you have an exact match in that row. And then I'll show you a function you can utilize to compare two separate columns and determine if a match exists anywhere within that column. Let's jump in. If you'd like to determine whether or not data within column A matches the row data within column B, we can use the if function. After entering that in, we can enter the logical test of B2 is equal to A2. After a comma, the value of true, we'll say that is a match. And for the value of false, we'll say that is no match. Close parentheses and click enter. Now when I drag this function down, you'll see Excel notifies me whether or not there's a match for that individual row. Keep in mind this isn't looking for an exact match. As long as the underlying data is the same, Excel will report that it is a match. In order to determine if we have an exact match for each individual row, we again enter the if function followed by the exact function. For the exact arguments, we'll enter B2. After a comma, we'll set that equal to A2. Close parentheses for the exact function. After a comma, back to the if function. If we have a value of true, again, we'll enter match. And for a value of false, we'll enter no match. Close parentheses and click enter. Now when I drag this function down, you'll notice Excel gives me different values. For example, the name John in column A is capitalized, but for column B, it is lowercase, so Excel reports there is no match. Now let's take a look at how to determine if the data in column A exists anywhere within column B. I'll begin by entering the if function, followed by the countif function. The range for the countif function will be the entire column B. After a comma, the criteria we're looking for is a match in column A, so I'll select cell A2. After a close parentheses, I'll set this equal to zero. So that for a logical test, if there is no match in column B, we can select a value of true of no match. And the value of false, meaning there was a match somewhere in column B, I can enter match in column B. After a close parentheses, I can click enter. After dragging this function down, let's test our results. Looking at row 10, you'll see Ruth's name appears in column A, but Chris's name appears in column B. However, Excel reports there's a match in column B because Ruth's name does appear in cell B3. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.